most people would not subscribe. So remember last week when I said it was packed with twists and turns? Well, this week, I could not even begin to describe what truly went on behind the scenes. All I know is that whatever's coming, I'm ready for the ride. I'm going to really challenge myself. It's too much to even get into it, but welcome back to another weekly vlog.
Good morning fam, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. <laughs> Whew. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday my peoples. We are currently at the cemetery I'm leaving right now. It is easily little kitten figura. It is easily it's probably like 11.30 now. Hold on. Oh, I got my phone in my purse. I'm not about to dig in there. I was going to tell you at the time because I don't know the time exactly, but it's like it's before 12. Definitely before 12 uh, p.m. Sunday, February 4th. February 4th. So I'm about to run around and do some things. I don't know that I'm going to be able to record, if I'm being honest. But I am out of breath currently. <laughs> Today, Today's been hectic, which is funny seeing as how, like I said, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, right? The vlog should be up today. Well, you guys would have already seen it, but it is February 4th. And so the vlog should be up today around 2. If everything goes according to plan. My nails are still breathing. From the end of the last week's vlog, you guys would have already saw that. I'm actually thinking, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna have time to like get them done until Tuesday, which is fine. Anyway, I'm actually doing my little morning stroll. I think I'm gonna actually go get some breakfast. Cause I have to actually run some errands. And then tonight we have Sunday service. Sunday service. So Here's to a super productive week, super positive week, and super full of love week. Do you hear? Let's see what this week got in store for us.
So, I'm about to start cleaning up. I just finished making some big ziti that my mom asked me for. And I was actually gonna just chill today, it's Sunday. But I just got a phone call, so I gotta run out. Which I'm a little bit like, how am I gonna work the Sunday service in? I don't know, but definitely have to figure it out and low key my fingers my thumb and my pointer are like numb i don't know but we've just been chilling um izzy is still very 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 sick so she hasn't even been off the bed yet. Um, she's just like resting, recovering. It's been a chill day until just now. So I'm about to jump in the shower. Well, I'm about to clean this up. Then I'm gonna jump in the shower and I gotta go. I'm actually running late for the live because about to feed the kittens they weren't out earlier i didn't see them earlier and so now i just heard one of them meowing oh i see them okay let me put this down and feed them real quick i'm late i'm late i'm super duper late actually tighten this because it's kind of lopsided and that's not good Let me get my ass inside because your girl is late now. <sighs> they hear me and they're like, bitch, let's go live. This is just what it is, especially if I'm talking to a woman. Like if you're in a situation that's dangerous, say something to somebody. I definitely should have fucking knew better. Our brains and our hearts work, on, especially when we're like invested emotionally because you did go through something similar or worse and you overcame that so at what point did you think in this new situation did you think you wasn't going to come out of it for some of you this isn't even a relationship for some of you the the person that you're walking on eggshells from is yourself because you're battling an addiction of some sort what's going on vlog oh your girl looking real life hit but it's all good so i just got out the shower like maybe 10 minutes ago and i put the nightgown on because i'm gonna go out but i don't want to go outside right after doing a shower or i don't want to go outside right after taking a shower doing a shower bro so i'm just like doing things excuse you you need to learn how to close the door behind you if you're gonna be just busted in the rooms you're okay anyway so right now i'm actually i should film 
because then I could do like a 20 minute reading. But yeah, so I got to go do something and I just figured on the way back, I'll do my walk for the day. And I'm going to kind of, you guys hear that? That's Felicia in the litter. I don't know why she's so loud. This is how you know she's Hispanic. <laughs> You're so rude. You are so, so rude the way she walks by. It's so funny. Sassy pants. Uh, I went like that and closed the door and she pushed the door back. Even, listen, she's, she's a whole mess. It is Monday, February 5th. <laughs> to like what your girl don't put herself into so last week <clears throat> well last Saturday I don't know how many of you guys tuned in to the podcast episode with me and Kiara but she was telling me about this 75 soft um, challenge that she saw I think on TikTok and she was thinking about doing it well she was going to do it not that she was thinking about it she was going to do it after the podcast, we were talking about it, and she was basically like telling me what it is. So I looked it up online, and I was like, you know what? Because I've been needing to fix up my sleep schedule. I've been needing to fix up my eating schedule, my eating habits. And so, quite honestly, I've been talking to Patreon about doing a fruit like an all fruit diet a few months back and then when i did my research i f found a bunch of people that was basically saying like you know eating nothing but fruit is not necessarily a good thing you know like with everything else it has some cons to it but just the cons that it had i was not willing to take that risk decided against doing that and i just kind of been trying to figure out a good starting point i guess you can say for this diet change when we were talking about it i was like fuck it i could do this and so i st we started it i started it with kiara we started it on the 5th of february so our 75th day would be april 20th which i was like april 20th is a really significant day for me personally 
And so once I did the math and I saw like if hypothetically if I started it today, I would have to continue it or the challenge would, you know, be to all the way to April 20th. It kind of was like a sign for me. So it's pretty cool because, I mean, we talk every day anyway, for the most part, me and Kiara. But now it's like we talking, but we also, you know, talking about the challenge and just just kind of like touching base, holding each other accountable, touching base on like, you know, where we are individually with this challenge and where, if any, did we slack off today and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. One thing I will say, though, is that I definitely tweaked the challenge for myself because I'm definitely one to, like, accept the challenge. I'm all the way with the shits. But at the same time, I'm a firm believer in working smarter, not harder. So, for example, hold on, because I got my phone here so I can actually talk you guys through it. So I have a screenshot. So the 75 soft challenge has four bullets. The first bullet says eat well in general and avoid alcohol except for on social occasions. And the second bullet says exercise once for 45 minutes each day with one day of active recovery each week. So basically working out 45 minutes a day for six days a week. The third bullet says drink three liters of water a day. And the fourth bullet says read 10 pages of any book each day. So then I looked online and I kind of wanted to see like what the difference was with the 75 hard. So 75 hard, the first bullet says stick to a nutrition plan of your choice while avoiding alcohol and cheat meals. So in the first, it, well, in the 75 soft, it says avoid drinking, but only on social occasions you could drink. And also it doesn't say anything about cheat meals. So I'm assuming there's cheat meals that are allowed in the soft version of this challenge whereas the hard challenge there's like no tolerance for it is no alcohol period and no cheat meals period for 75 days so the second bullet says exercise 45 minutes twice a day including one workout outside so there's another difference this one um the soft one is only working out once a day 45 minutes Whereas this one is working out twice a day and one of those workouts should be outside. And so that's another one of the... That's another one of the differences. The next bullet says to drink one gallon of water every day. Where well, the other one was like three liters. So there's another difference there. And then... The next one says, read 10 pages of a non-fiction, personal development focused book. So that's another difference too, because the other one just says, read 45 minutes of any book, you know? And this one is more so aimed towards personal development. And then the last bullet just says, take a progress picture every day. So the part the bullet that says to read 10 pages of a non-fiction personal development focused book i felt i definitely was like i have to do the hard one i cannot do the soft challenge because if you know me if you've been with me for a while personal development is something that i'm extremely passionate about and so the fact that it specifically says to read a book about personal development i was like this is the one for me girl so the only thing i really oh and the exercising one of the exercising um Routines needing to be outside when I literally do these walks every day damn near I just was like this is it this is what I need to be doing this is the one so the only thing that I really had an issue with is the one gallon of water a day not that that was going to be hard but I just felt like something because listen something about that I'm just like I don't know that that's going to be safe or is it safe like let me find out so i kind of did my research i read online that for everyone's body weight and body height there is a certain amount of water consumption that people should be drinking so 
when I looked at the chart, when I looked it up and I, and I put in like how much I weigh, 143 pounds, I saw that it said I was supposed to be drinking anywhere between 92 and 94 ounces of water a day, which is not necessarily a gallon. I'm doing the 75 hard challenge, but I tweaked it a little bit. So the first bullet, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to still do the reading. Reading 10 pages a day, which to be honest, I've been reading more than 10 pages a day. Back in the day, I was an avid reader. And so I just felt like naturally I would fall back in line with that. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. I think also to just the book that I'm reading, which I'll... It's Jim Quick's Limitless. I'll insert a picture of the book as well. The second bullet, um, because I kind of added some bullets too. Because I'm like, if I'm going to challenge myself, I'm going to really challenge myself. Because the reading 10 pages a day was not a ch is not a challenge. The walking 40 minutes, girl, I'll be outside walking for two or three hours sometimes, depending on what I'm doing and where, I, where I'm coming from and shit. So that wasn't a challenge. The not drinking... Is not necessarily a challenge. So I just felt like it's only fair for me to add in certain things to the challenge. Kind of make it harder, you know? So, read 10 pages a day. Got that on the belt. Then I put, listen to one informative or motivational podcast episode a day. Which shouldn't really be hard for me to do. I could do it while I'm walking. Like I listen to the episode while I'm walking or... Working out, whatever, right? Third bullet for me is drinking 94 ounces of water a day. And again, like I said, I am not doing the gallon because of my body weight. I ain't trying to catch myself out here fucked up. So now the workout part. Now y'all know I'll be struggling with my back. I don't know what the hell's going on. For right now, what I have so far is it says 45 minutes workout a day, right? Inside. So what I'm going to do is stretch. For 23 minutes because that's good for my back and then work out for 23 minutes so in total it's 46 minutes and it's still considered like a workout um and of course i'm gonna do the walking for 45 minutes outside as well too so really all i did was break up the workout into like two parts part of it stretching part of it working out then i kind of added another bullet where it's just like I'm not going to drink no soda, which I already don't drink no dark soda. I cut dark soda out of my diet like six years ago. Like no Pepsi, no Coke, no diet, um, Pepsi or Coke, no Dr. Pepper, none of that shit. So really the only soda I do drink if it's not ginger ale, which I don't consider ginger ale soda, which there's my struggle right now, my current struggle. But um, Sprite, Sprite has been like my devil. So no soda meaning no Sprite. And no juice, meaning no raspberry Arizona. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know raspberry Arizona is my, it's my joint, it's my joint, it's my one addiction, it's my one and only addiction. And listen, it's gotta go. I know I'm gonna have withdrawals in regard to that, but it gotta go. It gotta go, it gotta go, it gotta go. So, fuck it. No soda and no juice. I'm still going to drink my coconut water because it's not juice. It's literally water. But I'm going to be drinking coconut water and I'm still, you know, going to be drinking the water as well. Like regular water. Sometimes I'll probably add like lemon or like strawberries, berries in the water, cucumbers in the water and shit because I like the way it tastes. The diet that I'm going to do, I'm still like tweaking it, but I'm going to do like a, because I don't want to lose weight. Um... I don't really necessarily want to lose weight. So I'm going to do like a weight gain, but like a semi-high protein um, diet. This is going to be like a learning curve. So I'm probably going to be showing you guys some of my meals moving forward. Like I don't really do like cooking content. And it's funny because I literally yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before that I made the um, big ziti that my mom had asked for? Yeah. Oh, and also my the portions. I'm going to be eating smaller portions just because I, I suffer with like, I don't know if it's IBS or what the hell it is, but I'm um, definitely lactose, definitely certain shit I shouldn't be eating. I'm very much prone to ulcers and all that shit. So I'm all the way messed up when it comes to like my gut health. So basically that's what is going to be my meal plan is going to be something that's more friendly um, for my gut.
basically. Also, the last bullet that I added in is sleep, right? So my sleep pattern <laughs> is trash, super fucking trash. So what I'm going to try to do, the goal is to be sleep by midnight. The thing with my sleep schedule is that if I fall asleep before midnight, I'm up by 12, by 2 in the morning, 1.30, ready to party. My body does not stay asleep for long. Shit is trash. But I think it's because my body's so used to being up at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the morning. Usually, on a regular day, if I sleep about 3 hours, it's a lot. And I be functioning like that. How? I don't know. Just barely. But... This has been my life. And so that's the whole point of this challenge is to rectify it. So I'm not saying that I'm going to get this down packed day one because definitely I'm not. I feel like the raspberry juice is probably the most challenging part aside from the sleep for me. <laughs> but honestly, it's like back when I used to smoke cigarettes. I went cold turkey with the cigarettes. I literally had a whole half a pack like... Not even half. It was like damn near a brand new pack when I stopped smoking cigarettes. I don't even think I ever told y'all that. But I used to smoke a lot of fucking cigarettes. Probably like a pack a day to the face, yo. It was terrible. I was like 80 pounds. Your girl was going through a lot of things. But as much as I used to smoke, I literally one day to the next was like, fuck this. Like, I'm not doing this shit no more. I literally threw out the cigarette that I had just lit when I was walking to work. And I ain't smoked since then. Not one cigarette, not half of it, and thank you, Jesus. I never even had, like, the urge. I like to think that my mental strength is A1. Because I kind of did the same thing with Bud, too. Like, I used to smoke a lot of Mary Jane when I was young. And then when I got pregnant with Izzy, I was like, I ain't going to play games with my kid. I'm never going to smoke again. And I never smoked again, you know? So, I feel like the juice is not necessarily a good thing for me. Low-key, I know it. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like... I don't think the juice... Like, I th I'm i definitely going to go through, like, some kind of withdrawals. <laughs> just because my body's so used to drinking it. But I don't think I'm going to give in to the juice. Well, I think the most challenging part for me is going to be the sleep. Which is wild. But I definitely think that's going to be the most hardest part for me. Oh, and the working out too. So the working out part, like I don't have no problem doing the workouts because I'm definitely, since I haven't worked out in a while, I'm definitely going to do like the at home, more subtle workouts. Girl, your girl is, you know, getting up there with age. <laughs> my bones be creaking at this point. So, and it's not because of my age, it's just because I haven't worked out in so long. But I'm going to start subtle. I don't, if I get anything like on camera, as far as like the workouts, probably going to be like stretches and shit like that. But I'm not going to be recording, I don't think I'm going to be recording like day to day, like this is my day, blah, blah, blah. Like maybe here and there I'll record, you know, me doing certain parts, but I don't want to make the vlogs all about this challenge. Because quite frankly, I'm not looking at this challenge as a challenge. I'm looking at this challenge as a lifestyle change. So for me, listen, once I get past February, it's a wrap. <laughs> Because, like, most of these things are going to stick with me moving forward. So, there's one thing y'all got to know about me. I already did a lot of these things. Like, I already lived my life doing these things. So, even when I lived, like, in Jersey back in, like, 2015, um, even when I was in Florida, they, like, there were certain things that I didn't eat. My eating habits were fairly clean. I did a lot of cooking at home. I didn't do much eating out. You know, I was, because again, like I said, I always suffered from pain um, and discomfort in my gut, my stomach, my ulcers. So this has kind of been something that I've always like done. I've never really been like a gym head, you know, because I just prefer to like work out at home and just do little things here and there. Will I ever become a gym buff? I don't know. Let me, you know, let me do this for a while and, you know, I'll tell you guys <laughs> How I feel if my, my feelings change. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to speak against it now because I just don't know. Right now, um, I'm good with doing the little workouts at home. We officially started this today, basically. The, the 5th of February. And the goal is to execute this through the 20th of April. But like I said... 
realistically, your girl is not looking at this like a challenge. I'm more so looking at this like a lifestyle change. Well, shout out to our girl, Kiara, for putting me on. I... Should I say it? Oh, I could say it because she would have gotten it already. So, when I realized I was going to be doing this, the first thing I thought was like, I'm going to need one of those fancy jugs that like has the fucking, you know, the time of day and like how much water. If you drank this much water, you would have drank this much, you know, like the, you have two hours left or you have one hour left. Like that jug, I was immediately like going to get that jug. And then I thought to myself, Girl, the whole point of doing this is to work smarter, not harder, right? And so the reason why I say that is because my daughter went through like a whole phase of like water cups. Water cups was her thing for mad long because my daughter drinks a lot of water. And so literally in the cabinets here, I probably have like six water bottles, some fly ones. So... I was like, I'm not going to spend money on something that I fucking have a whole cabinet full. And I was thinking, I'm like, my girl Kiara, even I saw her, you know, with a bunch of um, water bottles, like in the vlogs and stuff like that. Like when we be talking and shit too. So what I did do was, hold on. I, I, what I, what I do like on a day to day. People always tell me, like, yo, I don't know how the fuck you be having the time. Honestly, it's because I schedule everything out. So, like, all my calls that I do and all the meetings that I take um, and my my day-to-day, -day, like, the errands, or the filming that I do for the Tarot channel. Because, let me tell y'all, I be going in with the filming. Like, sometimes when I be posting on Patreon, they'll get, like, fucking 20 videos in one shot. Like... They could tell you it's fucking insane. It's not even funny. But I'm able to do that because I schedule everything. Like I literally have, I have a planner specifically for the content from the tarot stuff for YouTube and for Patreon because I have different content. that Because there's some content that goes on Patreon that never makes it to YouTube. But I have um, a planner that I literally use to keep me in line as far as my content is concerned. Now, I have another planner that I use now for this channel, the um, vlog channel. So, I basically know what I'm going to vlog throughout the week. Because, like, it's not scripted as far as, like, the things that I'm recording. It's definitely not scripted. But I know for the most part, like, I want to have at least one segment of the self-care, you know, like the shower scenes. I'll map it out in my, in my planner, in my scheduler thing beforehand. So, like, by Friday, Saturday nights, every week, I'm already sitting down with my planner. Make sure I get right. And I write it down. I'm very old school like that. Like, I, I have the notes in my phone, but, like, I need to see it written. I'm just that type of person. So I literally have it written, like make sure I have at least one scene for the self-care, make sure I have at least one scene of me walking outside, because these are things that I do every day. The cemetery um, clips, a lot of you really love those clips. Um, I have like, um, it was really, it was really not hard, I guess hard, that was the word I was going to say, so I'm going to just stick with that. But it was a little bit hard for me to like film those moments in the cemetery. So you got to know, I'm there every weekend. Sometimes I'm even there throughout the week. I, I never show that. But just depending on how I'm feeling. And again, I go between two, sometimes three cemeteries. So I just try to like spend enough time. Also, I'm at these cemeteries. When I do go, you guys, if you guys see two minutes of it, I'm there for probably two hours. <laughs> sometimes I'll do a whole call and I'll be at the cemetery still. Because I just didn't feel right to leave yet. No matter what the weather is. So, and, I, and I've always just, I've always been like that. I think I'm going to do like a Q&A because as I'm talking to you guys about these things, I've, I'm have i thinking about like questions that I've had from a lot of you guys that have asked me certain questions. Anyway, I, these are things that I do all the time. And so I'll make a list in my planner of things that I do throughout the week. And then as I'm filming certain things, I'll check it off. And then at the end of the week, when I'm about to start the, um, editing the vlog for the weekly, I know like what I'm going to put in 
and what I'm going to leave out and shit like that. The scheduling helps me, darling, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm about to show y'all something. Hold on. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but it has my name on it. It doesn't feel heavy. But this is a planner. And so I ordered it yesterday. And not even yesterday, because it technically was today. But shout out to Prime, right? So this is what it looks like. This is the planner. And I bought one for me and I bought one for Kiara. The same one, just to like, I don't know, like I said, it helps me having the planners, even though right now I'm about to have three of them. <laughs> they help me stay like scheduled and organized. And if you organize, it's like, it's like the house, you know, if your house is clean and not cluttered, then you feel better. And so I just feel like for me personally, my experience is that if I'm organized, oh, this actually feels really good. If you're organized and stuff, I just feel like it's easier to get things done. You know what I mean? So this is what it looks like. It feels pretty good, actually. Oh, it has a little... Oh, this is so cute. Another one of those, like, thank you letters. And then these are, I guess, like, other planners and other items that... Oh, I already see the magnetic fridge calendar. budget planner <sighs> we're gonna keep this we're gonna keep that so then this is a 24 25 planner and I like this size first of all because if you want to put it in your book bag or your purse my purses definitely could fit this because I'd be having the dookie purses the big ones um, but if you have like a book bag you could carry it around and it's also it's small enough to like put in a bag but it's big enough to where when you're writing things down, look at this. You see how big the boxes are? Like a lot of the planners have boxes that are super small. Like smaller than the fucking barcode. You know what I'm saying? And so you can't really... Um... Oh, this has quotes in it too. I didn't notice that. Like January says, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Will Rogers. That's cute. Then it has like a space to do like notes, important dates, reminders. February says success is not in what you have, but who you are. Bo Bennett. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Let's see. So this is where we're going to start. Oh, and it has a little pocket folder. I love these things. Listen. You know how people be like, oh, once you hit a certain age, um, the weirdest things make you happy, like home decor and pots and shit like that? I've been that age. Like, I was like 12, and Home Depot, my favorite store. Like, don't ever take me to Home Depot. <laughs> home Depot is one of my favorite, probably my absolute favorite store, Home Depot. Like, it's sick. It's sickening. You know how the girls usually love to go to Target or like fucking Walmart and shit, whatever? No, like, take me to Home Depot. It's sick. It's sick. So, I feel like I talked to you guys about this longer than what I intended. But it's all good. It's all good. So, right now, I'm just touching up. I keep saying I'm going to cut them um, so that I could uh, <laughs> get ready to uninstall them. Because I do low-key want to like wear my natural hair for a while. Because it's been a few months already that I had these dreads in. Or, like, you know, that I had dreads in my hair. But every time I say I'm going to cut them, I kind of low-key can't part ways with them. I love them. <laughs>
I'm in the I'm in school. Okay, I'm in the prep room of my internee or of the teacher I interned for, and this is like the poster. It says, "I like the game, but I love the player." That's so cute. And then I do like a a basketball, and I put Ravens twenty one to twenty four. And then I do a little flower because I was bored. The senior night thing starts at like 3.45. Oh, you can't see me. It starts at like 3.45 and the game starts at like, like 4.30ish, I think, or 4 o'clock, something like that. So I had to wait until he went downstairs to like come in here. Hello. And I'm vlogging. I needed to get like glue because the stickers are coming up. Um, What's it called? I have to like make sure the... The stickers are gonna stick, so yeah. You've been the best of times to walk me through my darkest days. What must have turned around? I ask myself. currently 11 30 and I'm making myself a sunny side egg to have with some white rice because your girl is starving and I feel like I didn't really talk to you guys much today today was my first day of physical therapy and when I tell y'all, hold on, let me concentrate on this wibble. When I tell y'all that I had no idea how intense that shit was gonna be, I had no idea how intense that shit was gonna be. Did I put the butter back in? I sure did, cause I'm a moron. That's why. Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> so yeah, the first day today of the physical therapy was atrocious, <laughs> to say the least. I don't know why I was in I really didn't know what to expect, if I'm being honest, but I was not expecting what it actually ended up being. It was good. It just was intense. And the way my back pain be set up, I wasn't expecting it. But that kind of took me out of commission. So I don't even know. I think I did tell you guys already about the 75 hard challenge that... Kiara and I, y'all hear Izzy in the background? The 75 hard challenge that Kiara and I are doing. I think I told y'all about it. I'm pretty sure. And if I didn't, I'll record a snippet and add it in here. But either way, today, day two, I slacked a little bit. I slacked a little bit. 
because <clears throat> I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I took a nap after that physical therapy. And I was a little bit traumatized, so I ain't gonna lie. I was definitely a little bit traumatized. <clears throat> so it's 11.30 at night. That's why I'm eating right now at this time because I slept a little bit earlier today because I'm supposed to be in bed by midnight. That's going to be my goal. <sighs> That's going to be the one that I struggle with the most. That's going to be it. So, anyway, we're about to eat. Well, I'm about to eat. Me and my eight personalities, we're about to eat right now. So...
I thought I had some shit to say. Well, I do got some shit to say. But my phone's ringing. And uh, we're going to have to take a rain check. So I'll be back. I'll be back. What's going on, fam? So I'm not sure if I vlogged at all today. I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but I've been moving around like crazy. And for the first half of my day, I didn't even have the GoPro with me. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. I know. Also, uh, it's 75 hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it is not easy, boy. It's not easy, my boy. This shit is not a walk in the park, I tell you that. I've been doing good as far as the drinking the water, 94 ounces. I've been doing good as far as the um, reading. I've been doing good with the exercise part and the stretching part, surprisingly. I've been doing good with the, bleh, with the, um, listening to the podcast episode a day. I've been doing good with all of these things. The area that's kind of fucking me up is the juice. The juice is getting to me. But I think you know what it is? I think it's like some weird ass withdrawal. I think. I guess because my body's probably just used to having it so much of it every day. That I ain't gonna lie. Got me in my bag a little bit. Hold on. Let me move this up. There we go got me in my bag a little bit but I mean it's not too bad because I'm still able to drink the coconut water but yeah the eating too is kind of finicky like I'm very much being tested in the area of like what to eat day to day I think when you're so used to eating fucking junk food all the time that you kind of you kind of get accustomed to it I think like just the process of it you know what I'm saying like when you hungry because for me personally it's definitely been you know now that when I'm hungry now I just order something or go out and go get something so having to like <clears throat> sit and figure out what I'm gonna eat, figure out if I have all the condiments, and then, look how cute this is. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but they have like Valentine stuff in the window. But yeah, the process of like actually making it, it's a thing, it's a thing. I don't know, call me lazy. Oh, it smells like laundry. It smells so good. I love the gain detergent. That's what it smells like right now. Hold on. Come on, Beecho. I should leave that in for context. Fighting with the fucking book bag. But I thought I had a lot to say and. There you go. I think I'm just gonna let time speak for itself. I don't know. I don't know if it's this energy. We have a new moon happening tomorrow. If you're on the Eastern, like if you're on the Eastern time zone, the new moon hits, it's like at the most powerful point. Um, we could go this way. It's at the most powerful point around like 5.30, 5.40 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So it's a new moon in Aquarius and it's supposed to basically you know, bring in new energy and shit like that, but I don't know. This Aquarius season, this Pluto, I think the Pluto in, in, in Aquarius is what got me by the bulls the most. Me personally, I felt the most shift, the most changes on that day, which was actually my birthday. I'm not complaining, it's all good things, but it's just heavy. Heavy, you know, it's crazy because I feel like, again, me personally, I've always been 
big um, boundaries and being extremely assertive and my tolerance, you know, like not being like not tolerating shit that I shouldn't be tolerating. Like I've I've always been big on all of those things, right? Which I feel like as a person, it's important to be those things, to have those things. But as a woman, more so, you know, again, I'm not a man. I can't speak for the men. <clears throat> but as far as being a woman, I definitely feel like it's extremely imperative to be assertive and stick to your boundaries and not let motherfuckers play with you and, you know, shit like that. I'm going to put y'all down real quick. Y'all going to be at a little bit of a weird angle for a second. So we're gonna get some behind the scenes B-roll film. And there's mad people here, but it's all right. Cause if I gotta chase somebody for the GoPro, we just gonna chase them. So, what was I saying before I stopped on some real ADHD shit? Oh, what I was saying was that as a woman, we definitely have to have, you know, boundaries and all that good shit. Reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like I'm usually that way. <clears throat> I've, I've usually been that way, like, throughout the better half of my life never really had an issue walking away from anything friendships family <laughs> even you know business opportunities work opportunities there's church bells going off no funny shit but like that's the creepiest thing to me <clears throat> i don't know why i guess you could probably say i'm a little bit traumatized Throughout my whole life, I feel like I've been more so like black and white, you know? Oh, look, another house with Valentine's and another one. So cute. Hold on, let me get closer to this one and I'll show you guys the window. This is so cute. I feel like they got, I'm seeing more Valentine's decorations than fucking, I saw any Christmas decorate. Oh, they got a cute little flag, be mine. <laughs> we're winning the pool I should text my sister see how she's doing with the baby look how cute so cute and then this is the flag right here <laughs> that's so cute so what was I saying oh yeah that I've definitely been that person for the better half of my life that you know very much black and white it's not really much room for gray areas especially when it comes to like friendships relationships i was very much the fuck it person like it ain't working cool fuck it you know what i'm saying it ain't gonna happen for me cool fuck it this ain't going the way that it was intended to go cool fuck it like fuck it and not look back Maybe that's the Aquarius in me. Because I feel like somebody's like, duh, girl, you Aquarius, ain't you? <laughs> yes, I am. No, but I feel like as I've gotten older, so has, I, I feel like as I've gotten older, there's been more gray area, if that makes sense. Let's go this way, fuck it. There's been more of a gray area. Whereas, now when things don't go a certain way or go the way that they're planned or the way that they that i feel like they should be going i kind of I, I go from like in tarot in tarot language i go i've went from queen of swords energy to king of swords energy <laughs> and for those of y'all who have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about queen of swords energy is more so just energy of like somebody who's cutthroat it's black and white you know it's either working or it's not and if it's not cool peace out and if it is working cool we on the same boat i feel like throughout my life that's been it worked for me you know it was like a good thing it wasn't something that was 
a bad thing but i definitely do feel like as i've gotten older i'm learning that too much of something can definitely be bad and definitely not be a good thing um, so king of swords energy is more more a little more lenient you know king of swords energy is like you know on their shit but like at the same time you know if you do something to a king of swords energy it's like the king of swords energy would be willing to hear you out and willing to not necessarily sympathize but i guess that's really the best word i could use whereas the queen of swords energy is more cutthroat so i'm saying all of this because i ain't gonna lie it's been extremely challenging for me to have been in my king of swords you know energy for the last few years i'll be honest i don't <laughs> i know that i've learned a lot but it's like damn i had to go through all of that in order to learn that lesson like there wasn't an easier way to do this <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was that's how it feels to me that's exactly how it feels to me needless to say life is funny you know life is funny the way life happens is hysterical not really but I also am saying this because I know, I know, I know it in my heart that I'm about to do something that I'm about to do something in true Aquarius form, right? Because most people <laughs> would not do what I'm about to do. <laughs> most people would not subscribe, right? But me, you know, being the type of motherfucker that I am. I gotta see shit through. If you a Taurus, you're not gonna tell me you're not loyal to the soil. You're not gonna tell me that. You're not gonna tell me that even after something um, don't work out the way that it's supposed to or the way that it should, or after somebody like shows you that they move in a little sly, a little funny style as a Taurus, or if you have heavy Taurus placements, you're not gonna tell me. That you don't remain loyal for the longest time for the longest time like even for those of y'all who don't believe in like astrology and shit if you ever been with somebody especially romantic and you know they put you through certain things and you've given chances or you've given like benefit of the doubt you probably got heavy Taurus placements, darling. <laughs> you don't even know it. And even not just romantic relationships, but also like friendships, family relationships. Like you have family members who done shitted on you in certain ways. And, you know, you try to give them the benefit of the doubt. You try to like thug it out with them. You try to give them, you know, a chance or two or ten. Then chances are you got Taurus in you. You got Taurus in you, baby. You got Taurus in you. <laughs> no, nah. but I'm saying all of this because I'm reflecting. So that's why I went on this rant. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm gonna leave any of this in, but I'm reflecting. And I feel like certain things that I would have just let slide the last few years, I definitely feel like this ain't that type of party anymore. So whatever lessons I needed to learn, your girl don't learn them. Times are changing. It's just insane. Like it's so surreal to me because as much as things are changing, it's almost like, and I don't want to say I'm going backwards because it's not that I'm going backwards, but I'm tapping back into a part of me or a piece of me that I was already tapped into when I was younger and it works it fits I guess now that I'm saying this like on the camera it's almost like when I was in my teens and my 20s and I was on like fuck it for everything right 
I think, like I said, I think I did it like, I applied it too much because too much of anything is not good for you, right? So I think I applied it too much. Mm, that's crazy how it just like suddenly makes sense to me. But I think I applied it too much. And so for the last like four or five years, probably like four years, I almost like the fuck it aspect, it, it's almost like non-existent in every capacity like not just romantic stuff but also like platonic friendships and even as far as like work shit i've been extremely lenient i've been extremely understanding i've been heavy in my queen of cups and it's not that it's a bad thing i got a cancer moon but girl it hurts being in this energy and i it ain't fun it really ain't fun so i'm noticing now that um, I notice a shift and I'm taking a little bit of the fucking energy but I'm keeping some of the compassionate energy and I'm very much in my alchemy phase that's what this is let's see what happens I might I was gonna say I might regret it in a few weeks a few months but honestly I don't think I'll regret it I just think if it don't go as planned, it'll be one hell of a fucking push, okay? And if it does work out, great, hold on. Ooh, where's my phone? Oh, right here. Hello? I am under the tracks behind Fresh Pond. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm about to be on Fresh Pond in one minute. I'm by that. Remember that day we were walking and I was like, "Yo, that." sun is calling me darling so i am i just came out i just got out the store buying my breakfast it's just a bagel with light butter toasted and i bought a small coconut water i was gonna actually bring my jug with me but i want to carry with as least amount of things as i possibly can today gonna be one of those days i'm just gonna be running around so i'm not trying to be lugging around with mad shit it is mad early in the morning it's like 8 15 and you guys will see 
the gist of my day but i just wanted to take the time to speak to you guys really quick because <clears throat> the last few days y'all know that song i think it's monica that sings it it's an oldie it's like i think it's called one of those days or oh, don't take it personal I just wanna be all alone and you think I treat you wrong That's literally been my mojo for the last few days I I don't know, I think it has a lot to do with the 75 hard <laughs> I don't wanna give it all the credit but like low key, I think so Last night I actually got over 5 hours consecutive of sleep Which me and Kiara were like freaking out this morning Cause bitch, who are we? Who are we? <laughs> My body never, not in the last few years, four years or so, if I fall asleep, I'm always up within the hour, maybe two hours tops. So even on a regular, even on a day where I did get more than three hours of sleep, it was never back to back. It was things like fucking fish. I should have went on the other fucking block. If y'all from Bushwick, y'all know Lyndon and Irving chicken poultry which is now like a bootleg supermarket fish market she always thinks <clears throat> anyway i've been literally hitting the mark on everything except for the sleep <laughs> which today we hit the mark on that well last night we hit the mark on that so i'm really excited about it i'm not pressuring myself to like hit every bullet every day because i don't want to put too much on my plate but I've actually been like getting shit done and meeting the mark. So I'm very proud of myself. Izzy is in school. She should already be walking into the building the next few minutes.
a lot happened this week that did not make it anywhere close to this video. In fact, so much happened this week that this vlog is actually going to be a day late. I just ask that you guys be a little patient with me because I definitely will be sharing quite a lot with you guys soon enough. I just need time to process whatever it is that's going on. I appreciate you guys for showing love and supporting me on this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys next week for another weekly vlog. Full of dreams, baby, I'm for you.